Problem is we only stopped at the intellectual level. I know this. I'm not guessing, I know this. Cause from my class, what is chakras? What's an altar? What's this? And I get pristine intellectual definition. How do you access it? What does that mean to you? I hear motherfucking crickets. We touch into your mind, body, and soul. So, 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 so. When, you, when you're growing up, the pituitary gland secretes this particular melanin that's vital for your growth. After you get to the, to, to the height or whatever it is that you're going to grow into adult, after you physically grow to the point you're going to get, around 18, 19, or whatever, some people, maybe 23, they grow an inch, whatever. Whenever you do, after you stop growing, this stuff still secretes because it's also used for you to grow in consciousness. And since we don't know who we are, pretending around this motherfucker, and even when we do know who we are, we don't know how to activate it no more because we are still trying to use intelligence. Understand that here's the three eyes, the third eye. You need intuition, imagination, and intelligence. Now, the key is this particular stuff. If you stop using your mind and using your capacity to learn new shit, this particular growth hormone shuts down in all people. When we get a certain age, learning is not an option anymore. We only learn in reference to our career. You understand what I'm saying? And basically we spend life trying to be entertained. Your intelligence are gonna be your scholarly pursuits. You're gonna read it, you're gonna intellectualize with it, but then if you leave it there, you have done nothing. You have missed the other part, which comes in the imagination and intuition. The imagination is the visualization of it. To be able to see yourself, to, to visualize or see in your mind the stuff that you have now obtained in terms of information to be able to see it in the context of, uh, uh, to be able to internalize it. To Jesse Jackson, you have to see it to believe it, to achieve it and all that kind of shit. It's based upon the concept of you have to be able to visualize and see yourself in that place. Um, you have to be able to imagine these things based upon your reading. That's what novels and all that shit is about. To be able to read a novel and just take yourself there. You know what I'm saying? So you have to do the same thing even when you're intellectual study. So it's futile. One brother come up, he said, why are you reading those books, man? Are you studying for a job or something? I said, no. And I didn't tell him. I didn't even tell him I was lecturing. I said, no, I'm just reading just to know. That's hard. <laughs> is, is it a novel? I said, no, you know, he said, that's all right. You just reading that stuff just to know. He could not fathom me wanting to learn something other than getting a damn job or getting certified. You know, with goddamn professional people, it's your certification. Crack tell you, no, your degree ain't shit. You got to go back and get stuck in the water another time for me to let me know you worthy. And you go get certified again. again. You see what I'm saying? But you don't never do nothing based on consciousness. So, because... We don't have the capacity to learn this pituitary gland shuts down in us. Imagination, and then lastly, intuition, because intuition is just another way of saying spirit. Because when you read it, your intuition is gonna start telling you things. When you read these books, you're gonna have an idea. You need to be able to listen to that as well. Sometimes, you ever notice sometimes you read our shit and you start daydreaming? You're like, oh, God damn, I gotta stop, I gotta focus, I gotta get on my shit. You're daydreaming because your, your intuition and your imagination is starting to take over with what you just intellectualized. Perfect. That's what you're supposed to do, my niggas. What the deal is with you, if you start going back into studying or trying to know, studying sometimes doesn't necessarily mean rote learning or trying to get a lot of information. It's, you can do it through. You can also do it through. It's just learning shit that you haven't learned before. You can do it through video, audio, books, 
different things. It's not books and everything is not for everybody. But there's different ways. We're living in the information age where you got different ways. You got audio, you got video, you got CD, you got all the shit you need. CD, ROM, you got all kinds of ways. You got internet and all that. But my point is, is the faculty to learn something new. You understand what I'm saying? Most adults, that is supposed to be something you do in high school or even in college. And even in college, you don't really learn that. You just meeting the certain qualifications so your ass don't flunk out. You see where I'm coming from? That's called rope learning. What's that? You stop, you begin to die. You begin, you, you, you begin to die. <laughs> so the key is, the key is, the pituitary gland only secretes based on if you're going to learn it. It's just like anything else. If you will it to be, then your body say, well, we're going to give you this particular divine ambrosia is what it's called in the Greek mythology, food of the gods. That threefold is how you operate in third dimension completely. Intellect, intuition, and imagination. But the problem is we only stop at the intellectual level. I know this. I'm not guessing. I know this. Because from my class, what is chakras? What's an altar? What's this? And I get pristine intellectual definition. How do you access it? What does that mean to you? I hear motherfucking crickets. Because the intuitive or the imagination part is where it's stuck. And that's why they can tell you all this information. That's why all these books are on Amazon and all free for you. Because they know you cannot activate it like you're supposed to. Because you're not using your whole mind. You're using their mind. You think what they taught you in school was to mislead you? They don't give a fuck because you know, nobody pays attention in school, not even them. But it taught you a way to learn or disrupt the way that you naturally learn, your holistic way of learning. It disrupt that so any new information that you would ever get into in your existence is fucked up because you, you interpret it and then you take in, um, information the wrong way, their way. So that's why they will always be superior in this system because the way they take information and is the ceiling is the best on who they are. This particular stuff now, it is imperative that you spend time trying to know whatever way it takes to know. But the key is, it's not all I'm trying to know on a side issue to what I'm doing. No, knowing has to become first. And the other stuff, although you do it to get the money, it's supposed to be something that you're doing, you know, undercover just to get the money or whatever, because I don't advise you not to work or whatever type shit, because don't let nobody fool you. You see that he ain't no joke. But my point is, it's supposed to be, the job does not supposed to be important, not even your children. What up, what up, my people? Dreamwise here for another one. The Magic School Bus. Adventures and understanding. Doing the work. The Magic School Bus follows Miss Frizzle and her class as they set off on field trips. Based on the best selling book series of the same name. Magic School Bus takes kids on a virtual bus ride, magically transforming them into a plane, submarine, spaceship, or surfboard. This bus carries Miss Frizzle and her students on super adventures and teaches them about science. What's up, scientists? In the Magic School Bus, Ms. Frizzle is giving her students a first-hand experience on the subject of the day by using the five senses and their imagination, and their imagination, and their imagination. Message! Experimentation and trying things out is important as a magician. You came back to Earth to have a human experience as well as a spiritual revelation. This is important because these spiritual works is what's impacting the subconscious mind. Remember, subconscious mind is all. And if you're not hitting that, you're not doing no magic. Being that we're so physical in nature, you must do things physically to impact the conscious and the subconscious mind. 
in order for your subconscious mind to pick it up it's going to take your conscious mind to believe it's true you must do these physical spiritual works to appease the ego and take your spiritual experience to new heights and power fuck woke do work the work is where you build your understanding and in understanding i mean the true way you're supposed to learn learning through a knowing instead of the public school rope learning they try to teach you that you never retain for example you remember when you started that job you lied about on your resume that you were qualified for this and qualified for that you remember that shit and you were kind of nervous and intimidated by how to do the work and if you chose the right job shit two weeks later into the job you got that work down pat you just have a knowing and two months after that you damn near can give recommendations on how to make the job more easier and fun or even sufficient that's what we're talking about with this magic school bus actually applying and going within to having your own journey your own experience your own aha moments imagination visualization these things will turn your knowing into power into real life situations turning into an animal going into your friend's bodily systems making things and not worrying about failure because at the end of the day there is no failure there's just growth and understanding how to work it better this is what the magic school bus is showing you power up your magic school bus and drive your work home the magical work is the only thing that matters and without constantly consistently doing and applying you're just an intellectual a nerd i would say a person that can read a book and retain information kudos to you homie but guess what we're spiritualists magicians chaos beings the knower that know what magic is dream wise <laughs>